listening to Final Frontier News. Stephen Hawking is being used as the centerpiece for this whole entire deal because he'll generate um, press, which is great, by the way. That's not a bad thing, although it's a strategic tactic, which uh, is, is a very smart thing, because if he wasn't, there wouldn't be those front page or top page headlines. It would be hidden somewhere. Uh, but basically, tons of scientists, Russian scientists, uh, this, this very rich... Uh, maybe, I think I guess a, a Russian who's very, very rich. I don't know if that's the case. I, I really don't even fully, you know, comprehend everything that's going on, to be honest. But, um, you know, that be, that being said, um, this nanotechnology that they have is, of course, very exciting. And, and the idea of it and the solar winds, because you thought solar winds was over. You know what I mean? Years ago, you were like, oh, you know, solar solar winds are over. That's that's nothing. You know, it's basically a waste. It's not going to be able to be used for anything other than maybe some satellites or some um, mobility around the, you know, outside of the atmosphere, you know, near the space stations and things like that, maybe. But now we're using, they're going to use these solar, solar uh, winds or sails, rather, um, but but rather than try to use the winds that are available, which are limited, they're going to generate this 20% to light speed um, propulsion through focused laser beams into the nanotechnology that will be like an inch, the size of a large postage stamp, as they say. And when the beam shines into this nano um, chip... It goes twenty percent the speed of light towards, um, you know, a planet or a destination or Alpha Centauri. I think is where they're going, and um, which is which is bizarre. Which is it's something that I I didn't expect um, to hear today. To be honest, um. I thought they were going to talk about something else, and, and, and this totally took me off. It, it caught me off guard. Um, I mean, this could take 20 years, they're saying, to get to Alpha Centauri. But one of the things I thought, this was all amazing and magical sounding, and, and I was so um, excited for it, because when they dis- when they finally get this thing, the ball rolling, you know, the idea, I believe they said you could get to Pluto. Um, you could get to Pluto in... What was it like three days or something like that with this technology, which is just absolutely incredible? Because uh, I think our recent visit there, it took like nine nine years to get there. So to get there in three days and to reach Alpha C- Alpha Centauri would be phenomenal. But I'm anticipating that this project takes another ten years to get off the ground. And then if they finally launch in 10 years, it will take 20 years to get there. And then from there, we don't know how long it's going to take the information to really get back to Earth. And by the way, one of their biggest obstacles is getting the information back to Earth. They don't know how to do it. Oh, they don't know how they're going to do it, which is huge. That is like the number two thing. You know what I mean? Um, getting to a, a space solar system or getting to a planet, all that stuff is obviously number one. But number two is if you can't get the information back to us or you can't get it back in some kind of reasonable amount of time, it's almost futile at that point, right? So we don't know what that, we don't know what the answer to that is right now. And that's very concerning. Um, now they've opened this thing up to anybody in the world who wants to join the team or wants to research or wants to come up with solutions to these issues, which I love that. I love the idea that we're all working together as humans and, and as mankind, and it just shows you the capabilities um, of us as a whole, and I absolutely love it, and, and, uh, and, and that's what's excited me about this, and I think Stephen Hawking needed to be... Um, the center of this because obviously he's the one that's going to be on all the thumbnails, on all the posts, on all the articles. Um, and um, so I, I think this is just a great effort. And how great is it when sort of 
individuals begin to do this stuff on their own or capitalist, capitalism kind of works in a way because it, it's not working too well in America right now, but, it, but in this case it's working because, oh, forget, you know, NASA's NASA, but we're going to do our own thing. This is a private deal, funded, and, and looking for more funding. Um, when people just want to do something, you reach a goal. Look at SpaceX. You know, and Richard Branson and people like that who really make a difference when they, with their money. That being said, there's conspiracy theories about everything and what's really behind, you know, many of these things. Uh, there's talk about Planet Nine and Planet X and um, will, will any of this really matter? Or is this just another distraction to distract us away from the Planet X and the Planet Nine or uh, Nibiru or... Things that we can't see, that we they don't want us to see, and, and is and what is truth, and, and you know what are we really seeing here? What is the actual agenda? Um, but I but I choose to be more on the happy side of things and to be naive at this point and be excited for this. What do you guys think? Please let me know down below in the comments, and I hope you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.